part of our series of in-depth reports, the rollout, we're answering your questions about the coronavirus vaccine. This morning, ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens looks into whether pregnant or breastfeeding women should get the shot and how some UC San Diego doctors are trying to help women make that decision. It's definitely been difficult. For Rady ER doctor Catherine Paid, being pregnant and giving birth to her daughter Maddie in the middle of a pandemic was stressful. It definitely was scary, like being pregnant, and then of course you always worry about bringing something, you know, back home after when after she was born, returning to work. The arrival of a vaccine brought a new dilemma: whether or not, as a frontline worker, to get inoculated. It was, you know, trying to figure out what type of vaccine it is and how it kind of affects your body, and then what also gets passed through breastfeeding and through breast milk. Those questions are common for women who are pregnant or breastfeeding, and there are no easy answers. None of the vaccine manufacturers included pregnant women in their studies, so there's no data on how it can affect them or their babies. For the entire population, we need to develop this information quickly to be able to provide that reassurance. Dr. Christina Chambers is the head of the Mother to Baby program at UC San Diego. They did a survey that found 39% of pregnant women say they won't get the vaccine. 25% of breastfeeding mothers say the same. To bring those numbers down, Chambers and Mother to Baby are starting clinical studies on pregnant and breastfeeding women who have taken the vaccine. Nearly 4,500 women have shown interest. With a brand new vaccine, brand new technology um, uh, for a novel uh, virus, uh, you can see why there might be hesitancy. And uh, we just need to um, provide the data that helps uh, reduce that hesitancy. The CDC, WHO, American College of OBGYNs, and American Academy of Pediatrics all say there's no reason for pregnant or breastfeeding women not to get the vaccine but they all stop short of recommending it. They call it an individual choice women need to make with their doctors. Chambers wants to give those women more data to decide. Uh, we are eager and are collecting data uh, so that answers to some of these questions we can have uh, fairly quickly. They hope to have answers by the time the general public can get vaccinated. For Paige, she decided to get the vaccine and is now part of the breast milk study. Maddie even has a onesie that says my milk was spiked. I'm just giving hope and hopefully that, you know, as science progresses, we can kind of all get through this and, and, and slowly get back to somewhat of a new normal. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. How cute. The study will also look at whether vaccinated mothers can pass immunity to their babies, either in the womb or through breast milk. Now, if you'd like to take part, there's contact information on 10news.com. We will, of course, follow the study as it moves along to bring you their findings.